Hey guys, this is Taylor with KC Highlights and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install the KC MRAC onto your 2005 to current Toyota Tacoma. This is a super easy process. It's 100% bolt-on roof rack, meaning there's no drilling required at all in the roof. The process is the same whether you have a second gen or a third gen Toyota Tacoma double cab version. Today we're gonna to be installing it on this 2018 Toyota Tacoma and we're gonna be installing the C-Series version which has a C-Series front facing light and then the four side lights as well. Again, this is a super easy process so let's go ahead and get started. The first step after you get everything unboxed is to lay all of the parts out and begin to assemble the rack. Now you're going to want to assemble the rack upside down simply because this is going to help you attach the crossbars to the side rails a little later on once you have everything laid out. Next you're going to install the side light brackets. So as you can see here the first step is to insert the carriage bolts into the extruded crossbar and then you'll place the side light bracket on top of those and then thread on the nylock nuts. Once you have all eight of the side light brackets installed into the crossbars, then you can go ahead and start assembling the entire KC MRAC. And you do this by attaching the crossbars to the side rails with the two fasteners included per crossbar. Once you have the KC MRAC completely assembled, you'll then need to remove the factory weather stripping from the roof of your Tacoma. You do this by pulling the weather stripping straight up, starting from the front of the windshield, working your way towards the back. Then you'll locate the factory mounting locations, which are often covered by a piece of painted tape that you'll need to remove or poke holes in. Then you'll lay your weather stripping next to these and transfer marks onto it to know exactly where you need to make openings in the weather stripping in order to fit snug around the included spacers. Once you have these marks drawn on top of your weather stripping and you know where to cut your holes or drill your holes, then you can go ahead and make those openings in the weather stripping. One thing to note here is that there's a small metal bar in the weather stripping that runs lengthwise, so it's best to use a drill or a dremel rather than a utility knife to make these openings. Next, add a Hershey's Kiss-sized amount of silicone over the factory roof holes where you will mount the KC MRAC onto your Tacoma. This adds a little bit of extra protection to ensure that no water gets into the cap. Then put the included spacers into position and reinstall the weather stripping. Now it's finally time to place your KC MRAC onto the roof and bolt everything down. If you're not using a regular Allen wrench and are using a driver as I was, some of the crossbars will need to be loosened and swiveled out of the way in order to make room for the longer driver. Because this was a prototype version that we were using to film, you'll notice a few things that are different on the final production version. Most notably, the finish on the final version is a matte black powder coat rather than the gloss black finish that you see here.
After the rack is bolted to the roof and the crossbars are tightened, you can then install the four side lights and the forward facing light bar. In order to install the side lights, they should first be bolted to the brackets, then the brackets and the lights should be slid into position all as one unit. After the light bars are installed, the only remaining step is to do the wiring. Go ahead and connect your wiring harness for your front light bar and run the switch into the cab. Right now, we recommend having the wiring for the side lights professionally installed. Now that you have everything completely onto the truck and tightened, you are finished with the installation. If you guys enjoyed this installation guide or found it helpful, please click the like button below and let us know in the comment section if you found it helpful. If you want to be sure that you don't miss out on any more of the great videos that we're making, please subscribe to our channel. Once you have the install finished up, please share some photos and videos with us on our Instagram and our Facebook accounts. Thanks everyone, and remember to adventure further.